All right. Like I said, I wanted to make kind of a, a baby brother for the uh, for this meter. Um, I, I have I have this meter that I want to uh, make a case for. So I took at the design of this case, and it's kind of a a 90 degree, 45 degree bezel uh, design. So um, I, I designed this one and 3D printed it. And um, the meter in this one is shallow and it didn't need a lot of room in the back where this one, this one for the aspect ratio is pretty deep. And so my, my angle has to be a bit different, but it's still a 45 degree uh, front and everything, a 90 degree corner. So I think it'll, it'll be a nice, Nice one. Um, it'll, like I said, it'll sit in here. I have some uh, BNCs that uh, that will uh, uh, BNCs, some uh, banana jacks that will uh, that will match for the front. So all all I need to do now is just make the uh, metal metal piece that goes in here and poke some holes in it and uh, put it all together. So uh, really impressed how this turned out. That three D printing is not a, a not a fast program though. I mean, it took about nine hours to print this thing. So uh, yeah, it's a little bit slow, but it comes out great. I mean, it really, really looks, really, really looks nice. Okay, so we will need to get some aluminum and cut the aluminum to size and I have the tool just that we need. All right, uh, this is a metal shear. Uh, it's a, a real small one, real nice. And uh, I happened to be at the right place at the right time. There was a, a company closing down and my friend was in charge of getting rid of all of the assets. Um, he was basically told clean up the place and uh, I got this for free. So there you go. All right, so what we're gonna do here is we need Two and a half by three and a half. That's what the opening is. Two and a half by three and a half. That's easy to remember. All right, so we will need to mark where two and a half is on this thing and shear it. Okay, there's two and a half. Marked it on the wrong edge. Should have marked it on this edge over here. All right. Let's do it over on this side. All right. I need to go on the inside of that line. light on this thing so I can see what I'm doing. I think all right but there will be good. Isn't that nice? Isn't that nice? All right let's see if it fits. Looks like it'll fit just fine. Yes. All right. And let's do, let's do three and a half. See the mark. I can watch the blade come down and just where it starts nicking the uh, nicking the mark there. About there, I think we'll do. Perfect. Look at that. I know what I'm doing. 
All right, there we go. How about that, huh? Yeah, very nice. And uh, now we just have to lay out, punch four holes in it, make a really big hole here and then two holes here. And uh, we will be ready to go. Yeah. Um, I have a set of green, Greenly punches. Greeley or Greenly? Greenly punches. Um, to put a big hole in here, I think that will, that may work out. Uh, let's see if I have the right size Greenly. All right, well, the largest Greenly I have is this one. I don't know if you've seen these things or not. Um, this is actually made by the Seekonx, S-E-E-K-O-N-X, Seekonk, Seekonk? Seekonk Manufacturing Corporation. Um, and the way these work is you uh, move your camera down. Um, you put a pilot hole that, that the bolt will go through. And then uh, this is the, uh, the cutting die and uh, you put this through the hole and then you put this on the other side and then uh, put a wrench on it and uh, suck it together and it it will actually be a cookie cutter and snap the uh, snap a hole out um but this one is not quite big enough but that's okay i'll, I'll punch a big hole in it and then maybe i'll go in with a, uh, a dremel tool and clean it out for the for the larger size it'll just save me a bunch of work to do it this way um, so I will end up using the, uh, be using the punch and, uh, yeah, get it, uh, get some holes in it, get, get some layout fluid. All right. I have some dicum on the board and, uh, I'm going to scribe some, grab some lines. Uh, it's two and a half, so I have it set to one and a quarter. That should bisect the, uh, that should bisect the, uh, that. And then, uh, the corners are, I think, inset at eighth of an inch. So I will do 125 and double check my design here. Yeah, it's... One eighth, so I can come to the corners. And there we go. Um, yeah, we'll do this. I'll, I'll figure out where I want to put the banana jacks after I do this part. Um, so first punch we're going to use is a prick punch. Oh, it is about a 60 degree angle or 30 degree, 30 degree angle. And uh, try to put some. Where this where this goes, and then once you do the prick punch, you go back over it with a uh, uh, center punch, which is a sixty-degree angle. And I like to use a bench block for the uh, to get a nice a nice punch. Let the weight of the hammer do the work for you. Oh. This one doesn't feel right. Yeah, that's okay. People um hit with a hammer. You really should let the hammer fall. Let the weight of the hammer do it. Do the work. Get more consistent consistent results that way. Or do this one, I forget. All right, and there we go. 
and uh, we can double double check everything here. Those are looking good. Those are looking good. And uh, yeah, let's get out our uh, get out our hole punch and uh, put some holes in this thing. Put in the one eighth, one eighth inch punches. All right, and I guess we'll just put in the biggest hole we can in the center. I could probably put that on the mill and I don't know, I don't know if I want to do that. I should, uh, I should get my CNC router up and running again. I could just make that hole super easy on that CNC router. But it's not operational right now. Alright, that's the biggest hole I have. It is 9.30 seconds. So, that will be our starting hole. Alright. Flatten the squares out a little bit. Corners look good. All right. Now, I need to make this hole bigger for that. All right. So, I'll go do that. All right. Let's see if we can't make this go in. I think I want to hold this in a vise so I don't slice myself to death. Um, let's see here. This does quite, take quite a bit of pressure. I'm gonna need a bigger vise. I'll go across the room. out. That's uh, not not cooperating. Let me go uh, push that out. All 
All right, we have a nice big hole. See how nice, nice and clean that cuts? Here's the, uh, here's the piece it took out. So, there we go. Now we just need to make it bigger. A little bit bigger. Uh, a couple ways to do that. I could use a nibbler, or I could use a d roto um, Tremel tool. I could cut it with a fly cutter, which sounds dangerous. I don't want to do that. Uh, I think I think what I want to do. I don't know what I want to do. Let me lay it out. See how big how big the hole gets. All right, so I've got a big, I got a big hole now. I used a Dremel tool when I round it. Um, so I have to put four little holes in the corners here, and then uh, I'll figure out where to put the, uh, where are they? Where to put these guys aesthetically. Um, so yeah, I'll be back. All right, there we go. Project complete. Looks very official, looks very cute. <laughs> I like it. And uh, here it is next to its big brother. Uh, so yeah, very nice. I'll have to figure, figure out some good videos to use this in uh, with the plus and minus, uh, plus and minus current. But uh, yeah, there's the whole uh, family portrait.